Hi guys, hi my loves. How are you doing? Like how is your day so far? I hope that you are having a great day. And also as for me, unajua ni lazima pia kusema on your side. Pia mimi I'm doing great. I'm having a fantastic day. And I'm also hoping that you too are having one. And if you aren't having, please hold on there. It's going to get better. Yes. So guys, welcome back to not even welcome back because it's like Welcome to my YouTube channel because it's my first ever video like I'm doing and I'm super super excited because this will, will be a very nice adventure you know when you give the heart what it wants it feels so nice and uh, since it is what it is <laughs> I'm going to start this journey with you guys and uh, I can't do it without God definitely and you guys because I need your utmost support and I'm pretty sure that you guys are going to support me throughout this journey. You're going to walk with me. And most definitely, I cannot, I cannot walk alone. Because I know I got people who will walk with me. And those people will be you guys. So kindly, please support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. And apart from that, kindly also hit that bell icon up there. So that you would get an alert every time I will be uploading my futuristic videos. Because... It's all about looking into the future. Mungu akitubariki, we move forward and forward and forward. So yes, guys, and before I even move forward, my name is Aline. Yes, even as the name on my YouTube channel suggests, my name is Aline, and I will be walking this journey together with you guys, having interesting things, getting entertained, learning, uh, knowing things about life, you know, sharing, and there will be a lot. So yes, guys, please 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 don't go far and always 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 yarn to be coming back into this channel because i promise you you won't get disappointed at all so as the title of my video suggests i will be going i will be going i will be doing yes <laughs> getting confused a little bit i will be doing my video about uh, essential products that I use during my waxing tutorial at home yes so generally guys I know that people have their own way of hair removal around their pubic areas or armpits or even your arms your legs or whatever that you feel you have unwanted hairs so yes as for me I have only managed to gather courage to wax my armpits because <laughs> it's not easy guys i'm going to tell you it's not easy but it's doable it's not easy but it's doable so yes and by the word doable i mean it's like um bearable pain it's pain that even after that you'll feel this was worth it yes so for me i do waxing and uh, i'm going to be doing the video about my essential products that i use when i'm at home every time i need like i want to do a self-care at home so those are the things that i will be using and i will be mentioning one by one uh giving details like what it does generally or why do we use it during waxing or why do i use it <laughs> yes and uh, first of all generally if you have hairs around your pubic area or around your armpit area if you want to go and do waxing guys please 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 make sure you exfoliate exfoliation means like washing the area scrubbing the area so as to remove the dead skin that is around that area yes because definitely if you go without doing that to your spa or if you try doing it uh without exfoliation it will be crazy for you it will be crazy for you and it's not like extra crazy but it's some crazy so the first thing that i use i have some of the things that i use here sorry some of them just fall and First and foremost, I use my exfoliating gloves. This is something I know that you know, guys. So this really helps a lot. This really helps a lot during that exfoliation process. And since I'm a queen of improvising, here is my bath soap. This is what I use. You could also use the normal scrubs and other things. Like when you Google around or even when you ask around, you will see there are other things that you are supposed to use like you are not limited there are a variety of things that you could use for your exfoliation guys yes and even after exfoliation you make sure that like the area is free from anything don't use deodorants don't use roll-on don't use perfumes let the area be free 
like inakuwa bare the bare minimum that you know nikaona tembea miguu tupo let the area be free from any sort of perfumes detergents and everything and everything cuz just use the things that are not scented and stuff so it will be very free it's just like the way you could wash your face and leave it there without applying any sort of oil or whatever you guys use so yes after doing that kindly make sure you dry the area so you have dried for example let's just give an example like you have dried your armpit areas because we are focusing much on the armpit area you have dried your armpit area yes so after drying it you are after immediately drying your armpit area this is the next product we are going to be using and this is the baby powder kila mtu anajua baby powder now this baby powder in atumikanga uh, let me give you a scenario guys most of us grow hairs differently kuna wenye we have a uniform pattern of how our hairs grow kuna wenye zina meanga tu wenye zinataka others zingine zina mezi kenda chini zingine zina mezi kenda juu yes so this baby powder itakusaidia sana to see clearly how the pattern of your hairs has grown either on the opposite direction ama zote zingine zinaenda chini zingine zinaenda juu exactly so that's the use of the powder and i'm pretty sure that you guys have understood that the next thing now we will be using a product called yes this is the hard wax beans like this is the product it's so fine inafanyanga hiyo kazi and now i'm sure what wataniuliza ai these things zinaka kama beads like the number of beads or anything like a pellet i think it's the, i should call it like a pellet i don't know whether i'm saying the the the, the right word but anyway so how are you going to achieve a liquid form of this hard wax bean mm -hmm. anybody with a suggestion <laughs> and yandikia hapo chini kwa comment section uh huh mtu anandikia hapo chini cuz i will tell you find yourself a plastic bowl or even a silicone bowl i'm pretty sure most of you have them in your house wherever kila mahali and if you want to buy why not buy it so please pick your plastic bowl uh pick a few amounts of these hard wax beans like kuchota tu kama when you chota cereals from somewhere then you put them in a bowl so after you have uh, divided a few amount of that hard wax bean from its normal container make sure you have a sufuria and um, water inside the sufuria kindly place it on your gas cooker or whatever you use for other reasons place it on that gas cooker make sure that water is boiling make sure that water is boiling so pick your hard wax beans the plastic bowl place it on top of that boiling water and now this is where the magic happens it's not like generally magic but it's magic so once you place it on boiling water all that steam will enhance these hard wax beans to become liquidified so you will achieve a liquid paste of the hard wax beans for it to be consistent mm -hmm. yes so once you ensure like everything up or you make a consistent like all the hard wax beans have become into a liquid form the next thing comes in what do you do what do you do you have the paste you also are required to use a popsicle stick a popsicle stick of which i don't have right now but i improvise still but what you could use for that option you could use um utu tuvijiko tunatumiango kwa ice cream kuchota ice cream uh -huh. since you already have your paste now let it just still remain on that boiling water as you're doing your process because so, probably remember your armpits are clean you have applied your powder you have understood how the pattern of your hairs are growing it's now time for application guys and before you even apply mm -mm. just like the way you do for a person like ata ukikula chakula kwanza unaanza usikie kama ni moto or if you're giving a baby something unaanza kwanza usikie whether this is the normal temperature that the baby can take same case applies here you have your hard wax beans kindly do a patch test and a patch test definitely is by saying pick your hand something of the sort pick your hand hapa this is where you do your patch test apply your wax 
because you already have the popsicle stick apply your wax hapa once you feel it's warm enough or hot enough that you can bear that is the wax temperature you are going to be using so long as it will enable you to achieve your results then you want attacker so how are you going to know that this is the normal temperature that nafa kutumia and it will enable me achieve the results that i want number one and b when you are picking it from that cabal ukichota na the popsicle stick kindly make sure you roll that popsicle stick like this when you still have the content kama umechota tuka kijiko kindly make sure you roll that popsicle stick the way it should be because once the content imebaki ko hiyo popsicle stick for more than 5 seconds then that is the most temperature you should be using mm -hmm. you understand me yes pick your popsicle stick kindly ensure that the popsicle stick ukichota inabaki na hiyo content ya wax ndani yake because ukichota definitely utashike vika kijiko ikiwa moto sana itakuwa inajiangusha from that popsicle stick but then atutaki ianguke so just roll the way you could um ni kama kukoroga kitu roll 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 when it's already up so roll it and uh, let me just try by the way let me find something in the house i'll be back and i'll be showing you what I'm trying to say in a minute guys I'll be back guys nimezunguka kwa nyumba and at least I found two things watu ni tule tu vijiko to ice cream ndo nimepata so what are you going to do let's for example say like the content iko hapa ndani na plastic chota make sure unazungusha hivi because the content itabaki hapa on this area so this is an example that I will be using as a popsicle stick si ndio ushachota it may stick into this popsicle stick for like five seconds then do your patch test as i have told you earlier then when you do your patch test when you pull obviously you don't like maybe the hairs that you have here maybe it's in Asia, Asia. Uh -huh. the next thing now since you may a patch test now kaskia like the mixture is warm enough or hot enough the way it should be start now your application still as you apply like kama zote zinafanana una apply mara moja so that you could pull once no guys please wax in patches divide your armpit hairs into areas that unaona hii ni kipima hivi nikishuka i will have achieved waxing on this down part hii ni kipima hivi from this side kuenda juu i will have achieved the waxing area on that side and that is what i'm saying like all that process should be done so for example if you have hairs that grow on the upper part, zingine zina grow on the downer part, how are you going to wax yourself? I will also be using as my, my powder as an example because for example, I'm going to show you, this is the hairs that you have. Sindio? And maybe kuna nyina grow from this side, ikipanda. Ingine nyina grow from this side, ikishuka. So you will divide it into two because definitely you will achieve your waxing into two sides. Number one, start, for example, if you say uh, I'm going to start on the downer side, you start applying from this katikati ukishuka chini. Mm -hmm. Yes, as you apply like this, please make sure that you make an edge on the downer part, an edge that will enable you to pull from this side because when you wax yourself, you don't start pulling from the area you started application from pulling is always pulled from the opposite direction yeah yes and if you start from this side panda so your pulling will be from this area and make sure that you leave an edge that is very efficient for you to pull from that side so that you could pull like once and i know how you understand waxing guys so that is what i'm generally saying like when you wax yourself in a straight pattern start pulling now from the opposite direction and you could wax yourself like as many times as possible because above the hard wax is one of the most efficient wax that you could go in back and back again like but now for example if i had hairs right here niji wax maria kwanza lafu i still have some two small tiny hairs in me imagine the benefit of hard wax is that you could just go back again on this bare part upake tena because you won't feel like that pain because this type of hard wax is a very 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 efficient wax like you see 
Exactly. So, because you can see, I'm also not using the paper strip. If you have the hard wax beans, guys, guys, the paper strip budget, we are always finding ways to cut cost, most definitely. So the paper strip still, the popsicle stick, you could improvise. What else do you need? What else do you need, guys? <laughs> What else do you need? So at least I've told you a, a benefit of the hard wax. Mm -hmm. Cause no one like how it is. And then even when you continue doing like what you are supposed to be doing, the next thing you will be required to do for you to sh to to like to be able to understand that and I'm satisfied with like this area. Kabisa kabisa hai na What do you need? to do there will be something else that we need to use and this something is very common everywhere everywhere guys let me show you but anyway who cares who cares who cares we bend and we pick it so yes guys this is the product I was talking about and these are the wet wipes. I use these wet wipes. Nakwanga na karoma fiti, you know, to napenda some nice aroma. So yes guys, that is the wet wipes that you will be using or any other type of a wet wipe. Stop let me stop making noise for you guys. Um the wet wipes are used to once you wax yourself, for example if you may wax the down part of your armpits, pick a wax, I mean not a wax <laughs> Pick the white wipe, wipe that area and you already umesha to anuele. When you wipe it, can you look closer? Are you satisfied with the results that you are seeing on that area that has no hair? If you feel you are satisfied, well then I'm going to proceed to the next one. If you feel like you're not satisfied, go back again with your wax as I said. After waxing it against teal, okay, you are not satisfied, use a wet wipe. So wet wipe clearly ni kama kuosha hiyo part when you now continue waxing, the more you continue waxing, the more you wipe yourself. Ndo sikia kama kila kitu like ikofiti venye inafa. Yes. After waxing yourself guys, this is like the last, last, last self care product you are going to use. Kindly make sure you have yourself a moisturizer. As for me, um, I use a moisturizer. As for me, I use a moisturizer that I know is a moisturizer, although I wouldn't recommend it for anyone else. Kindly uh, do your research and find a nice moisturizer, although it works for me. So find yourself a nice moisturizer. Umemaliza waxing ya koyote on your armpit area. Don't leave that area bare. Please don't leave it bare. It's like providing relief. Ata mtu wakinyolewa, unapakangwa spirit. Exactly. So, kindly use your moisturizer. For me, I use shea butter as my moisturizer. And it works for me. Although it's not like efficient enough. But uh, that moisturizer will work for you guys. So, me, I use shea butter. Which is mixed with almond oil. Actually, it's whipped shea butter. That's what I use. Yes, that's what I use. And after application, kindly, uh, for the first 24 hours, avoid these my deodorants, these my perfumes, scented stuff around this area. Because it's not good. It's not good. Even after umetoka waxing, because this is like the process that they follow. Once umefanyo waxing, kwaspa, I'm pretty sure they will apply your moisturizer to provide like relief. Kwa sababu sasa, hii ni area ilikuwa imezoya kukwa nanyuele, sayi haina ngo. Like the, the hairs have been pulled from the root area. Haina hata kidogo. So definitely for that relief, no skip fit around the area and you may ama ume wax. You apply moisturizer and then after that, kindly, kindly, kindly ensure that you are, are staying away from all those madeodorants, perfume, roll-ons and all such stuff that ni mesema. Because it's going to give you a plus. And then after that, after you've waxed, kindly please usigi lege once a week or even twice a week if you have time continue exfoliating and exfoliating because it's too rice you can do it on Sunday, Saturday, Friday or whatever day you do it pick your glove pick your exfoliating glove use the scrub that you use or anything else that you'd want to use then 
kind of exfoliate yourself kwa sababu it will help you to avoid any ingrowns that come back with the growing of the other hairs that are now trying to protrude because now you already removed the hairs and definitely nyole na meanga ukisha nyoa ama ukisha toa so when you exfoliate once or twice a week every time you are showering or when you're having a self care day itakusaidia sana how utakuwa unajikuna you won't be having those ingrowns that people suffer from that's an extra tip guys since you have the exfoliating gloves uko na scrub what are you waiting for just go to the bathroom use it and everything is going to be airy <laughs> so yeah, guys i hope to see you on my next video because i've had so much fun shooting this video guys and i'm hoping so that even you who is at home or wherever you are watching this video you are going to enjoy and that you have watched this video until the end of it because and thank you so much thank you so much for keeping me company kindly 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 watch this video and it's going to be fun let me just say it's going to be fun <laughs> so yes and i hope to see you on my next video god willing i hope to see you on my next video god willing and uh, stay safe take care of yourself guys because I want to see you the way you saw me last. <laughs> Is that nice English? I don't know. CG. But anyway, guys, we have come to the end of the video. <sighs> I don't know what to say. But I, I appreciate you all so much. I appreciate you all so much. Feel welcome. Karibuni sana. Don't worry about this YouTube channel. Because it's where you're supposed to be. Definitely. Ni mali unafa. Cool. So yes guys, see you on my next but for now Hasta la vista baby. Bye